join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. A walk at night through Temple Bar is always an interesting experience. It's a busy part of Dublin and a very attractive place as you can see from the quaint cobbled streets. It used to attract a lot of stag and hen parties and it's an obvious part of town for visitors who want a lively night out in Dublin. Many of those stag and hen nights have since been discouraged but otherwise tourism still flourishes here and the pubs and restaurants do very well. There are of course big benefits to tourism in any city. But sometimes things can get a bit out of hand. I think that was the reasoning behind stopping the stag and hen parties. There's a great range of bars and restaurants here, from the big franchises like this Hard Rock Cafe, to smaller and more traditional pubs, I can't imagine why anyone would want to come to Dublin and then go to a hard rock cafe, but each to their own. The street's less animated at this point, but as you'll see a bit further on, it'll soon get busy. You probably noticed that this film was shot around Christmas time, but Temple Bar is always hiving with people at any time of the year. This whole area results from a massive regeneration program in the 90s, and in the decades before that, these properties were run down or abandoned. At one point they were all going to be knocked down to make way for a big bus station. Now the description of this film refers to the best and worst of Irish tourism and just coming up we see an example of the latter. Just on the left hand side there, the building in green is Oliver St John Gaherty pub. The white horse drawn carriages outside it I'm supposing is some sort of tourist gimmick but in reality these carriages have nothing to do with Ireland. Perhaps someone's tapping into some fantasy that people have outside Ireland about how Dubliners get about. The reality is, they're more likely to be on the Lewis tram than in a horse and cart, let alone a white horse and cart. Anyway, the tourists certainly fall for it. It does a roar in trade, as does the striking red painted Earl Dubliner beside it. You can see things are a lot more lively here. The positive aspect of tourism is of course how all these restaurants accommodate so many people from all over the world night after night. And then we can see here a taste of genuine old temple bar, Rory's Fish and Tackle Shop. You have to wonder how this place has survived in amongst the nightlife of Temple Bar. Before we walk further, I hope this video and others like it have been informative and useful. If so, please give it a like at this stage before you forget, and by subscribing you'll be signalling that this video is of use, and that encourages us to create more future films. Obviously please also feel free to share this film with friends or family. There are so many bars here, and many of them will live Irish music too, and even Irish dancing. But there's one particular bar that always catches my eye when I walk along here and that's the Keys. Just look at its fantastic Victorian tiled facade, an exterior perhaps to rival the Crown in Belfast. There's often also buskers in the street, as in this case where we see a piper doing his thing. These are the Scottish bagpipes I think rather than the Irish pipes though. And of course you can see two young people coming down the street handing out leaflets probably an invitation to some club or something. You'll notice how they went straight past me, must have thought I was too young or something. There's all kinds of shops in Temple Bar too. It's not all pubs and restaurants, but there's a lot of pubs and restaurants, that's true. There's a guy there who just loves the camera. Some lovely painted buildings like this pub, the Temple Bar, makes you just want to go inside. There seems to be a lot of people here just standing around for some reason. Some are eating, obviously, but others appear to be just hanging about. As long as everyone's enjoying themselves, that's the main thing. I 
Another big franchise, Milano's restaurant on the right here. But why are all these people just standing here? They're obviously watching something that I can't see. Perhaps it's a street entertainer of some sort. This pub, the Norseman, refers to the Viking heritage that this part of Dublin has. This is one of the oldest parts of the city, with a long and interesting history. Fitzsimmons Bar, and then a look down towards the River Liffey, and we see the Millennium Bridge all lit up. And just on the other side of the street, we can see a colourful mural which tells us something about Temple Bar's importance as a cultural hub. There are many important cultural organisations based in this part of town. These include the Temple Bar Gallery and Studios, the Irish Photography Centre, the ARC, a children's cultural centre, the Irish Film Institute, an art house multimedia centre called the Button Factory, the Project Arts Centre, the Gaiety School of Acting and the Contemporary Music Centre. And you can see the party goes on. And I should say that it's not just this main street, but also the side streets that have shops, bars and restaurants. And restaurants of every type too. There's the Project Arts Centre on the left here. And on the right we're just coming up to Dollard & Co, a big delicatessen and dining area in a very grand Dublin building. Incidentally these buildings on your right all face out onto the River Liffey on the other side. We're just coming up to the back of the Clarence Hotel now, a hotel that is, or at least was, owned by the lads from U2. So who knows, if you go for a drink in there you might meet one of them. It's a grand building as well, with a very nice octagon bar inside. Let's have a wee look into the hotel's cosy interior. Nope, I don't see Bono or The Edge. This is Parliament Street and we're looking up now to Dublin City Hall on Dame Street. There's the Turk's Head in front of us and the streets are getting a bit quieter now. Here's two bouncers with absolutely nothing to do. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next Naked Ireland film.